Brittle books. One of today's biggest problems. A lot of people don't realize what a critical stage we're at in the 21st century. Um, we've had a, a book, well it's a Bible of course, been brought in. This is 1829 and at this stage of the period, civilization was moving from rag paper to a wood pulp paper. Universal education was coming in and more people were beginning to read and write and the demand for paper outstripped the production of good quality papers. There were not enough rags to go around. And so other materials were used in paper making which had a very high acid content. And consequently the, the books from 1829, 30, 1830 onwards have this problem of acid. And at this stage of the proceedings you can see just how bad brittle paper is. You, you can hardly pick it up and it's like a, a lace curtain. I explained to the owner that even with all the, the amount of effort needed to repair this, the book will still disintegrate in the next 20, 20 years. Well, I don't know how they're gonna solve it, quite frankly. Uh, they might be able to put it onto another medium. The book as a, an item is far more universally acceptable as a means of accessing information. It's all right having a computer and a CD disc which has the whole Encyclopedia Britannica on it, but unless you've got a power source, then you can't access it. Whereas a book you can put in your pocket, take it to bed or do anything with it. Yeah, Google uh, um, <coughs> are trying to remedy the situation by downloading books onto the, onto the net so that uh, you can read from your computer. Even Harry Potter, I'm afraid, <laughs> will, will go the way of all these. 